to my channel. I am really excited just to get into the day because it's so nice out, but it's not like hot, you know? And so I want to like drive around and look at houses. <laughs> like I, I don't know why I'm like getting in this vibe to like go house hunting, but like, I don't know. You guys, if you've been following along with the vlogs, you know that some people have been interested in our house, even though it's not on the market, but that's making me interested in like other people's houses that are on the market. Cause it's like, if people are like interested in our house and we're thinking of selling, then I bet other people are too. So I just kind of want to like look at some houses. Um, before I do that, I want to show you guys some house updates here in our house. Um, I want to show you guys the dining room first. So this is the dining room. If you guys watch the Target vlog, these are just here because I need to wash these still. Um, if you guys watch the Target vlog, you guys will know that I picked these up from Target. It's been a couple days, but I just have been meaning to wash them and I haven't yet. Um, but one thing that I really like about the dining room is I updated the runner. Um, if you guys watch the Target vlog, you guys will know that I picked up this little runner right here from Target and it just looks really, really nice. I like how it looks like, I don't know, very like clean. Um, I used to have like a gold um, little runner and I just didn't really like it as much. And then I also got this little planter and it was only $20 and I ended up um, just putting it there and I think it looks really nice. Like what do you guys think? Comment below if you guys like it, if you think I should move it. Someone even said that this could be good to put um, like your um, spoons and stuff in in the kitchen, which I thought that was a cool idea. And then this was also from Target, but I just bought it at a different time. And um, I'll link it below because it's still available if you want to pick it up. It's from Studio McGee. But what I like about this is that it has like, I don't know, a really like, I don't know, Scandinavian vibe, and I think it looks good in the center. I might change around because I feel like I change stuff a lot, but I really like that. And then something else that I updated, I haven't shown you guys, Bane's just chilling. He actually um, just like, not got out, but like I let him out the back and he walked around the front because the back was open. And um, so yeah, anyway, he walked around the front, but he didn't go anywhere. He literally just like knocked on the door um, or scratched on the door. He can't knock because he's a dog. Anyway, this is what I updated um, our little coffee table to look like. I wanted it just to be a little bit more like clean, um, and I feel like it just has very clean vibes. The book that's on here is this, uh, the wellness remodel, but I just like to have it open. I think it just looks really clean. I might change it, but for now, this is like the vibe, and I feel like it looks nice. So yeah, those are just a couple of house updates. I haven't really done much else that's like new that I haven't shown you guys. I feel like I am pretty like good about keeping you guys up to date on what I've like changed. I did get this new vase. Um, I thought it looked really nice. I think I showed you guys this one already though. Oh my God, that's heavy. I'm gonna freaking drop something. Um, but I'm gonna go downtown now and go to a coffee shop. I'm just like wanting coffee. It is um, 9.45 ish and so I want some coffee um, and then I'm probably just gonna hang out downtown for a while and then we're gonna go look at some houses. Um, whenever we're downtown, I'll show you guys some houses on my laptop that I've just been loving. I sent Brady a ton of them and he's like probably like stop sending me houses. <laughs> um, but I'll show you guys the houses I like have been looking at and just like the ones that I think are really nice whenever we get downtown to the coffee shop or whenever we're like out and about downtown. So let's head over there now. It's such a nice day. I'm excited to enjoy it and do a little house hunting. <laughs> Like, 
the ones that I want are just not on the market right now. They're like already sold and I actually found two that um, I think are really cute, but there's like someone else already bought them. So one of them is in Chatham, which is my hometown, and the other one is like 20 minutes over in Springfield, which is like where I am right now. And the one that's in Springfield is a little less expensive, but they're both like equally nice. But one of them has like a really high ceiling, which is what I was looking for. And then the other one, um, it just has like a really, really nice open concept living room. So and I know that you like have to kind of um, like, you can't get a perfect house, like I know that, but I just feel like I am gonna have to figure out what I wanna compromise on if we end up moving. So let me see, let me show you guys what this one looks like. Okay, this is the first one. This is the one that I actually um, like the best. And this one, of course, is a little bit higher, but it's in my actual hometown. I didn't really wanna have to move anywhere, so. See, this one was priced at 311 and it's so pretty. I don't even know who lives here. It's literally sold already, so it's not like I can live here. But this kitchen is what I like aspire to have in a house. Like, I don't know if you can see like the gold hardware, it's so pretty. And then you can see like the really nice light fixtures, all that is like custom, um, a really big pantry, just like a lot of good things that I like. I also like the shower in the bathroom. I don't really care for that, but I feel like you could like paint that or change it out. It's like an easy fix. Now the other one is um, a little bit cheaper, but it's in Springfield, which is like where I am now, but it's like 20 minutes over from where my actual house is. And this one is priced at 289, also sold, which sucks. But what I like most about this is when you walk in, you can just see how light and bright and airy it is. And then when you get into the little um, living room area, it's just so big and spacious which I like, and then I feel like the kitchen just looks really nice. So, I don't know, I love all of these. I feel like what I like about this kitchen is it's big and open, and then this other one, I like that the living room has such a high ceiling. Like you can see, it's literally huge. I feel like that would give a lot of sunlight, so I just really like both of them. I don't know if we're actually gonna find anything, or if we're just gonna end up like just looking at sold houses and like wishing that we could find what we want, but I'm gonna go and look around different houses today that are actually on the market and like just try to buy them because there's actually a lot that are on the market and see if I can find one maybe that we like. Um, we also talked about doing like maybe talking to someone who doesn't have their house on the market and seeing if they want to sell it. So I don't know. We'll see. We're like all over the place. We don't even know if we want to sell our house yet but I just feel like it's a good time to and want some more space. So um, I'm going to finish up here and then we can go look at houses that are off market maybe see if we can find some that we like um and maybe we won't i don't know but i feel like it's still really fun to like look at the ones that are like on the market right now just to see like what the feel is for like what's available right now okay i am leaving downtown now and gonna go up to um an area where like the housing is really nice and look at some houses we're gonna see what we like um it's so nice down here i kind of feel like shopping but can't decide if like I want to or not ah! oh my gosh I literally do that every freaking time um, but yeah I can't decide if I want to or not but I uh, kind of will look at houses more I literally yawn every single time I swear whenever I'm like driving or anything I don't know why but I just do um, I feel like I just have heat going too much maybe it's like making me tired um, so yeah I'm gonna head back the direction of where my house is because I honestly want to find houses that are near um, where I live like in Chatham area so I'm gonna head back that way and then um, I already like showed you guys the home decor and stuff that is like kind of updated in our house but oh my gosh oh I can't okay I had to finish yawning because I just like was just yawning too much but I just started randomly driving and I'm like literally out here in the middle of nowhere. I need to turn around because 
I'm literally like, this is like cornfields, but I feel like you find the best houses back here because like in the cornfields where there's like no one, that's where like everyone wants to end up, you know? So, and it's close to town. So you aren't like super far out from Chatham. Um, it's probably like a five minute drive to like get in town, but, ooh. But I found a house, I think the sun's behind me, that's why there's like a glare, but I found a house that I wanna show you guys right now, it's so cute. Okay, we're coming up on it now, and it's this one right here. It's so pretty. I love all of the like black trim, and you're just like out in the middle of nowhere like there's no cars or anything there's nothing out here like this would be so nice to live out here i would love so this i've never been over this way before but it's also kind of in the middle of nowhere um and it's by the lake which a lot of nice houses are over here so i wanted to come look there's one house i'll like pop it on the screen so you guys can see it's stunning like i love how it looks on the outside um there's some stuff probably inside that i'd want to change but it just it's so pretty so i just want to come look at it and i feel like there's gonna be a lot of other houses over here that are also nice because like i said we're by the lake and a lot of houses by the lake are just really nice um i would love to get a house by the lake because like you can just like I mean, in the Midwest, there isn't really a ton to do other than like, you know, corn and cows and like literally look, there's like, it's just corn, just literally corn, fields and fields of corn. Um, but when you're out here, one nice thing about being out here is to enjoy the water. Yeah, one nice thing is just to enjoy the water. I don't know if you guys can even see me. Um, and I would love to live on the water just so I could enjoy it. So let's go and look at this house. <laughs> gosh it's stunning oh my gosh I am freaking obsessed oh my god it's so pretty it's even prettier in person ah uh, all the houses around are so pretty love how it's like nestled behind all these trees and like it's literally on the lake that's just absolutely stunning oh my god I can't get over that house it was so nice like oh literally would have been a dream well okay so I drove out to the other side of the lake because why not and there's more houses out here and I want to show you guys a house that I think is stunning it's definitely not one that we are thinking about getting but I think it's really pretty so I'm gonna see if there's other houses around the area that are maybe a little bit smaller it's just me and Brady so it's not like we need an insane amount of space but I would love to live on the lake so let's see if we can find another house that would be maybe one that we'd like to move into this house is stunning and it's right on the lake I would kill kill for that it's just gorgeous oh gosh, look at the little deer out here they're just hanging out. That's so cool. It's so pretty. Hi guys. So there's a house up here that I think I'm gonna try to see if Brady maybe wants to flip. I'll show you guys it in a second. I've driven past it a couple times already. I feel like it would be a really good flip. So this house right here was actually a flip. I will insert a little picture so you guys can see what it looks like now it looks so different and so that kind of gave me the inspiration to flip this house that i'm going to show you guys in a second and then this one way over there in the corner is also another flip so when you go down this way you'll see the house that i'm talking about i'll show you guys in i love how the deer literally just hang out down here like they're just like chilling like all of them that's so cool so the house I want to show you is down at this Honestly, corner. don't know if Brady's going to go for it because it is going to be a lot of work if we looked at it, but I feel like it could be a really good 
like investment because it's right on the water and all these houses here are right on the water and there's a lot of houses that are being flipped in this area and he knows how to flip like you guys saw the last flip that we did this one would be obviously a lot nicer because um we'd be living in it and we'd be like flipping it for a family versus for like a rental it looks a little like you know it needs some help but i feel like it could be a really good flip um, if we actually got it. So I'm coming up on it now, let me show you guys. This is the house right here. Like I said, there's nothing really super special about it, but it is on the water and I feel like being on the water would be a benefit, like a just definitely a bonus. There's a better view from this side. You can see it's definitely old, but with some like fixing up I think it could look really nice honestly it's kind of scary to me too because we've never done a flip like for ourselves it's just been like for the rental and like Brady's done stuff for rentals in uh, Kirksville when he was living there and I was living there but I feel like it could look really nice like you guys saw how that other house looked that um, was flipped and I honestly did not recognize that house in comparison to how it used to look and I feel like if we did something like that it would just look so so nice um, so I don't know I don't know if it's possible um, but I'm gonna text him and see what he thinks and then I'll get back to you guys whenever I get back to the house okay, I just got home and I have a couple of packages so I'm gonna open those probably whenever I get inside and see whoa okay the sun see what's inside each one there's one um, right down here on the floor but obviously I need two hands to hold it so um, I guess you could put this here while I pick it up don't know what this one is it's pretty big I love big boxes so let's open this whenever um, I right, excited to bring the packages in here I'm just gonna open them in here um, I had to come back because Bane needed to be let out um, and he's usually not like alone by himself for very long so yeah I had to come back and let him out. Um, so I have two PR packages, um, let me double check make sure that they are PR. I know for sure one of them is PR, I just don't know if the second one is. Let's see, mm -hmm. okay yeah they're both PR. And I don't honestly take on a lot of PR, but I like to try things out from brands before I like work with the brand. Um, and so a lot of the time I'll send over PR, I'll try it, see if I like it, don't like it, then, you know, we move on. But this one is from Girl Hair. Um, never tried their stuff before. Comment below if you have before. I'm always up for trying new stuff for my hair though. This is a ultimate hydrating hair mask for curly hair. Oh, that smells really good. I'm all about like how stuff smells. And then I also got um, this biotin infused hydrating milk. Then I got this clarifying apple cider vinegar rinse. Wow, this is like a lot of stuff. And then this one nourishing leave-in conditioner and protective restoring balm. And the last thing that's in this one is moisturizing water to foam shampoo. So I'm gonna try all these, see if I like them. I don't know if I will or not, um, but obviously I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I never work with a brand unless I like really like their stuff. So you guys will know if I um, like them. I'll tell you guys or I'm working with them or something. So yeah, there's that one. And then, oh, and they're at Target, I guess. So, and they're pretty new, I guess, at Target. So that's good to know and then um it looks like it's a black owned business too which is cool and the next one i have is from pixie beauty i love um their beauty products and let's see what's in this one. Ooh, this one's big oh wow holy cow it is nice and large and oh cute this is cute. Look at this little bag. It's like a little backpack. That's from like going to Pixie Beauty school or something. It says three steps to glowing skin. There's a looks like there's skin stuff in here. So let me just open it because instead of trying to tell you what's in here when I don't know what's in here, just open it and see what's inside. I love when brands do like cool PR packages that like look really neat. 
Okay, cool. So in here, I'll show you. There is a um, body wash, a body peel, and a body lotion. And you guys know that I love my freaking like just body washes and all that stuff. Um, so I will definitely let you guys know what I think about this. Um, I'm really excited to try it. Let me see how it smells. This is the glow peel. It has like a cover on it, so I actually can't tell, but I'll open it in a second. Let's open this one. This is the lotion. Ooh, that smells really good. It smells really like very fresh. I like that. Cool. I'll try these, let you guys know what I think. All right, let's get going. Um, I want to go do some home decor shopping. Um, maybe just pop over to Home Goods, see what's in there. So, yeah, let's head over there now. And I just had to let Bane out pretty much. Um, but I do want to grab some lunch on the way because I'm like actually starving. And um, whenever we get there, we can look and see what's at Home Goods and hopefully find some good stuff while we're in there. <laughs> on the edge of our bed. I love like the tufted material on the top. I just don't really care for the color of this, but I do really like that. This is so cute. I actually don't know what I would do with it or where I would go, but this looks like a little cute little chair to sit on. And literally the first thing I want to do is just touch it because it's so soft. This could be really nice in my office. Um, you guys know I need an office chair. Maybe this could be it. <laughs> no, just kidding. Literally, just kidding. So but both of these two pieces really caught my attention. This one first because the design on the outside, this would be a really nice entry table. Like, that's really pretty. I love anything that has like a cool design on the outside, but that's like kind of muted. It's not like too busy, you know? And then this one, I love things that have a cool shape. I don't actually know what you put in it. Maybe books? That could be cute. I just like how unique it is. It's really cool. I'm in the lamp section, even though I literally don't need any more lamps, but I really like the design of this one on the bottom. It has like a lot of different colors in it. I think it's really pretty. And then it has a really big like lamp shade, which I think is nice. But I like that it's not white. Like I don't really like stark white lamp shades. I like the ones that are more like this. This has like almost like a fabric feel. That's really cool. I don't need another lamp, but if I were to get one, this would probably be one of the ones I would grab. Maybe put it on that little entry table thing that I showed you guys. That could be really nice. I am forever looking for things in our backyard and I feel like this would be such a nice little set. It's only 129 and it comes with all, well, both of these chairs, which they don't necessarily look comfortable, but I feel like they'd be a nice little sitting area. I mean, could you just imagine like my croissants in the morning and coffee? That would be a really nice little set. I decided to come into the candle aisle and I've already found a couple that I want to get. They're in my basket. I'll just show you guys when I get home. But DW Candles has a ton of new ones in here right now. And you guys know that that's like my favorite kind. But I've also found another one that I feel like I really like. I'm going to show you guys when I get home because I have it in my cart. Um, they have a lot of new candles. And I feel like they all came out around spring because they're very like light and airy oh my god this one is mayor lemon for the essential oils i'm gonna take this one home it smells so good okay i found another cute little piece i'm gonna try not to break it i always to be so like delicate with them this is so cute i feel like i'm always looking for vases and I feel like whenever we move into our new house, like having a vase this size would be nice because you can kind of stack it with a bigger one. And this one is only $24.99. So I feel like this one is a really good steal. Okay, I got a nice little couple bags here. They're literally, take this off, they're literally only candles, but I feel like you guys will like them. They smell really good, literally as I was, um, checking out at the register the lady she was like "Ooh, what candle is that like it smells so good and i was like oh i think it's like this one so i think you guys will like it but i'll show you guys whenever i maybe get in the car or get home or something
I'm gonna show you guys the candles that I ended up picking up. They are really, really nice and I feel like they'll be some of my favorites because they're like new and unique and I've never purchased them before. This is the little bag. The first one I got, I showed you guys this one kind of in the store. Um, this one smells very strongly of lemon, obviously, but it's like very fresh, light and airy. And then this one right here literally smells like clean clothes, so I'm really excited to use this one. I don't really know where I'm gonna put it, but it literally like says crisp white on it, and it gives that vibe. Like it's very clean, crisp. And then this one is probably my favorite one. Out of all the ones I purchased, you guys know DW candles are my favorite. Um, I got the vanilla bean one. It's very strong. The lady who was like checking me out at the store, um, at the register, she was like, what does that smell? Like, which candle is it? I was like, oh, is it, does it kind of smell like coffee? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, well, it's this one. And then um, the last one I picked up is this wellness relaxation um, lavender and bergamot, which smells so good. It's very relaxing and calming, which I feel like is why it's called relaxation. Um, smells super strong of lavender. And then I also picked up these little peach rings just for a little snack. So that's everything I picked up today. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I did, I always love shopping with you guys and looking at houses with you guys. Um, comment below which house was your favorite and um, let me know which candle was also your favorite and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>